I'm Hannah Joy with WREK Sports Atlanta, joined by senior defensive end Emmanuel D.A.K., a.k.a. Too Tall. First of all, I have to ask, where did the nickname come from? We're all curious. Uh, <laughs> too Tall um, actually came from my freshman year in high school. My um, coach, well, my coach at the time, Coach Cap, I walked into the gym first day. He saw how tall I was. I was tall and lanky, so I really wasn't big. So he was like, what's your name? Told him my name. He's like, just going to start calling you Too Tall. <laughs> and the name stuck with me since. Uh, very fitted, fitting name. So um, by this point, you've had the chance to kind of evaluate some film coming off of a loss to the Clemson Tigers. What has been your personal evaluation thus far? Personal evaluation of Clemson? or Of your performance on the field from a defensive standpoint? Um, I think my performance on the field personally is always room for improvement. So I look at each game, each film, and just try to look at what I'm doing wrong versus what I'm doing good. And I always try to jot down what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, so when I got that practice field, I could um, correct those things. Absolutely. With this being uh, defensive coordinator Ted Roof's first year here on the season, talk about your relationship with him and how it's grown uh, throughout the season. Um, Coach Roof just it has been our 10th game, or 11th game right now. I think with us as players, we've adjusted to his personality. Coach Ruby, he's real fiery. He's real passionate being a former player here and all ACC performer. So his love for the game, I think that's something that we we have inherited. Like we picked up from him. And then just out there every day, you can see a little bit of him just rubbing off on us as a defense, just being more physical, being more attentive, just going out there every play with the intention just trying to dominate your man. So it's been a good fit. I'm blessed to, for him to be able to coach me this being my last year. And I can't say any more about Coach Rue. Speak about this being your last year. Uh, in the past two seasons, you've actually played in every single game of both seasons. How do you think that's helped you develop into the player you are on the field today? I think it's helped me in terms of experience. So it's like when we been so just being able to go into hostile environments, you not – Sure, I know what to expect, so it's not new for me. I've been there before, mm-hmm. so just experience and just being the game slowed down a lot. So I'm not out there thinking like I, how I used to. Everything just slowed down. I know what I'm doing, so I'm able to go out there and play full speed. And wrapping up the season, you have two home games left uh, this weekend: Alabama and A&M. And the following week, you have Georgia here at home. Mm-hmm. What are your expectations closing out this season? Win both games. Just that's our expectation every week. You know, you can't win them all, but you're going to every week expecting to win it. We have Alabama A&M this week. Uh, we respect them. They're a good team, good coaching staff. So our, our mindset going to Saturday is just going out there, dominate, win the game, do what we have to do. What we have to do because we just try to get ourselves better, and then we can focus on the big one next week. Well, I certainly wish you the best. Thank you very much, Emmanuel. Thank you. I'm Hannah Joy with WREK Sports. Thanks for tuning in.